Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Alan Wake 2, and uh, there's Nightingale there, he's got his pecker out over there. I don't know why we have to keep on seeing it. It's like throughout the whole game, like the last final mission, we're going to see Nightingale naked again. I'm like, man, get out of here. <laughs> Go somewhere else, Nightingale. But yeah, so we, uh, we got through a lot of the memory, or a lot of the nightmare. Who was writing who? Let's see what this who is. Who was writing this poem? Me? The no. Let me Let me give Alan Wake a plenty of time to figure out what he wants to say. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadows cast, the third eye now open, to project the night, this is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Alrighty. Well, let's go see. We're going to... Maybe go try to find our girlfriend or wife in that building. Let me check the map, actually. Yeah, we're all good. Stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning. The violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. Okay. It kind of belittled us a little bit there in that commentary. Just a tiny bit. I'm thinking that guy that's with uh, Saga might be the Scratch. Might be the enemy. I'm not for sure though. My goodness, a well-lit place. Oh, we're back all the way over the station here. station changed. I was closer now. That's pretty cool. That's why that door was locked the whole time. I'll say, keep on giving me lights. I mean, we don't really need to go that way. I already got everything in there. So I think we're good. I got four light bulbs. We're 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 we're, we're way ahead of the game. I'm probably gonna get a fifth one if I can. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment. Could I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even Come on. then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Come on, Alan Wake, you know this is a trap. Like, it just magically appeared out of nowhere. Phone's going off. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Let's go see what's going on. What does it say there? Return, scratch, don't write. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? I think this is Scratch right here. 
Where he's like trying to like trick us somehow. Who knows? The dark place, like 15 posters of it. It's like, oh, for a minute there, when the light's off, it looks like someone just, like, like cummed on the poster. I'm like, man. Scratch gets excited about the dark place, but no it's like some hand. Scratch just, you know, as uh, Alan Wiggs out there, he's just over here working real hard, bapping it. Alright, come on. No, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Sometimes these uh, echoes pain in the ass. monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Well, now you're writing about her technically, so you're accidentally like putting her into the story again. I, that's my assumption on it. Thirteen long years and Scratch finally got your lady again. <gasps> Haunting. Yeah, get that flashlight on. Alice's photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Alrighty. Well, oh, her man's been gone forever, but she's got a glass of wine here. What else is she eating here, man? She got, she's eating some, well, to be honest, that doesn't look that great. Alice. Pick photos for exhibition posters. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? I mean, uh, Scratch is you, bro. That's probably a photo of you just walking in through the door. This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Yeah, that little, like, loop. This is that good, though. She got some plants growing here, helping out with the oxygen, removing some of the, uh, carbon. Alice's video camera. Alright, looks no like... Memory card inside. That's probably what we're looking for. Video art doc on screens. Focal point of the dark place. Well, if she knew what happened, she's probably trying to get Alan Wake to come back too. In her own way, because she loves him. Part one. Part one. What was Alice working on? I'm guessing when we put this memory card in the video camera, it's gonna mess or it's gonna change the environment. Made money. 
He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? The Dark Place, the art of Alice Wake. I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, loped me back. I was writing the story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Well, now we know. So it's kind of like, who is Alan Wake? Is it 
the nice one or the bad one? Like, which one is controlling him? I'm guessing. Well, let's keep on moving here. You know, road, 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 road all the time. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding but your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time- it... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like, it's like, it's like a half forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan, we've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I, why are we written into the story? I think I saw you, or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. Oh, now we play Saga. And there's so much of it. Oh man, they got a big map. Alright, so let's probably go in their mind place and figure stuff out. Alan, Wake can review. Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult.
The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? It could have been. But Scratch didn't want it to be. Alright. There is an entity inside the dark place doll called the Dark Presence. Huh. My goodness, we got a lot. Flashlight seems to weaken Taken. You come over here. Scratch and the dark place are interchangeable. In the form of Scratch, the Dark Present is editing Wake's story. <clears throat> yeah, he already told us about fiction coming into reality. Wake was trapped in a dark place. Pretty simple, really. And then we just keep on getting more. So we gotta find the clicker. Must get the clicker before scratch. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Nope, does not go there. So we found the overlap, which goes here. And then we have for later. So there is something we're missing. Some stuff right there. Television. Tin weapon fragments. Can we use it? Nope. Alrighty. So I think we're good now. She has her own shoe box. Interesting. Uh, you can go over here. I mean, I don't really care for that one. If we fight a well, if we fight a boss and he's like really difficult, we can use that to kind of maybe survive. You go there. We have a lot of hand flares that we can use. Ah, you know what? I did a quick save, but I'll do a manual save as well. Just to be safe. Check over here. Nope. And this is actually her like mind place thing, which is wild. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. Now we get to figure out they're working with Scratch. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them Scratch's followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Oh, now we can profile Alan Wake. Well, here, hold on. Before we do there. Okay, that's still for later. We'll start over here. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter. The next chapter. The next chapter. Keep the pages safe. The dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. 
All right, and now let's learn a little bit more about Scratch. Wake has a double. Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. I guess now we're going to try to figure out the connection. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. There we go. So they're just connected. One cannot leave without the other, and one cannot stay without the other. Okay. Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Alrighty. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the cult of the tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Good to know. Yeah, we've already seen all these. Still for later. Learn more about the clicker. So I'm guessing maybe we need to make a connection. I mean, he's done talking to us. Is there maybe another manuscript we haven't seen? Wake has more information. I need to keep questioning him. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cult of the tree. So if they have the clicker, why haven't they given it to him yet? Is it just because he just got out? Okay, good with that one. That's what we just read. The cold of the trees in possession of the clicker. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Okay, and all the rest are happy. So now we can actually drive to Watery. All right. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. From now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga's stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Feel free to play in whatever order you choose. Okay, so if we come in here. Switch reality. Okay. Well, we just played as Alan Wake, so we're going to play a saga about for a little bit, but we'll ask him about these pages. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Alrighty. Let me go back to our mind place. Maybe we can put that on the case board. So he remembers writing some pages. Not there. Yeah, this one's actually kind of confusing here.
Oh, writing part of ritual. Okay. And that's everything. So we're at the 30 minute mark. We'll probably stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. And next time we'll play as uh, Saga here for a bit. And then, you know, once we find another place where we can change realities, we'll play as Alan. Yeah, yeah, they're going to talk. So I'll see you all later.